Very quickly, we'll do one real quick numerical example here. If this r vector is Let's say it's 3, negative 4, 0 meters. Say we have an object that's some kind of macroscopic object, a little charged ping pong ball or something with 3 times, uh, oh, let's make it a proton. Let's make it 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And the magnitude of r, square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, that's clearly 5 meters, right? Uh, r hat, I will tell you, is it's 3, negative 4, 0, divided by 5, and that actually comes out to 0 0.6, negative 0 0.80. And so to get this whole thing, we take E is 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meters squared per Coulomb squared, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulombs. We divide by 5 meters, the quantity squared. We multiply by 0 0.6, negative 0 0.80. And it comes out to be some number in newtons per coulomb. And what I actually get is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 11, negative 4.6 times 10 to the minus 11, 0 newtons per coulomb. So it, it is kind of big, but you just chug through it. There's nothing magical about it. Okay? You'll probably have to do that for homework.